Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Cassandra and today we're going to try to do everything in 20 minutes. So twists, hip openers, back bends, balancing poses, inversions, core strength, all of it. We're going to try to jam pack it in so that when you're short on time but need a full body workout, you can just come back to this practice and get everything addressed. So let's begin lying down on our backs. And we are going to start by opening up the hips, reclined butterfly pose. Bring the soles of the feet together to touch, let your knees fall apart, and you can just rest your hands on your belly or anywhere that feels comfortable and restorative to you. This practice can be done in the morning or at night. Softening into the jaw, the neck and shoulders, breathing deeply in and out through the nose. Let's bring our hands on the outsides of the knees and bring them back in towards one another. Pull your knees in towards your belly, giving them a really big squeeze, rocking a little side to side. Let's set our feet flat to the ground. Keep your knees bent. Relax the arms. You want your feet to be about hip width distance apart and press up into bridge pose. So press into the feet to curl tailbone up and then you're lifting your hips lower back and mid back off the floor. Try not to let your knees open up any wider than your hips. Soften the shoulders, really just make this about your lower body only. Engaging the glutes to lift the pelvis up a little more. Super slowly unwind inch by inch until your hips come back down to the floor. And let's rock up and down the length of our spine. Coming into our tabletop pose on our hands and knees. Palms go underneath the shoulders, knees are underneath the hips. Spread the fingertips nice and wide, cat and cow. As you inhale, drop the belly, lift the gaze and curl tailbone up. On the exhale, chin to chest, round the spine. Take a few more. So inhale, we open up, elbows are straight. Exhale, we contract and round. So moving with the flow of your own breath, you might be going a little faster or a little slower than I am. We're just trying to warm up their spine so that we can start to get right into our practice and really fire it up. Take about one more full cycle. Inhale through the nose and exhale also out the nose. Back into your tabletop pose. Let's walk our palms a few inches past the shoulders. Tuck the toes under and lift up into your first downward facing dog. So tailbone is reaching up and back. You're pressing your chest towards your thighs. Make any little movements or adjustments that you need to do here. See if you can put a little bit more weight into your fingertips and knuckles and less into the wrists. From our downward dog, let's extend our right leg up towards the sky, bend the right knee and open up that hip nice and wide. Squeeze the glutes to lift it up a tiny bit more. Maybe the left heel can come a little closer to the mat and we'll strengthen our core. So inhale to hold and as you exhale, come to plank pose and tap your right knee towards your right shoulder. Inhale back to your three-legged dog and then exhale to twist, right knee towards the left shoulder. Inhale, extend it back, and then exhale, knee to nose, pull it in, and step your right foot forward in between the palms. Lower the left knee down, keep your left palm where it is, and reach your right arm up to open into your twist. Looking down to the mat to release your right fingertips to the floor, we're going to straighten our right leg and fold over that right thigh.
relax the neck. Lift the chin and chest back up. Start to bend into your right knee again. Plant the palms and we're com coming into a variation of tiger pose. So tabletop, you're kicking your right heel up towards the sky, dropping the belly, lifting the gaze up. Squeeze the glutes to lift it up even higher. And then walk your palms a few inches past the shoulders. Tuck the left toes under and come back into your three-legged dog. Let's straighten and square our right leg so the knee and the toes point down and we're gonna take our flow by keeping that leg up. So inhale to your three-legged plank pose and then exhale all the way down. Point the toes back, lifting up to cobra. Chin and chest reach up nice and high. Hips are still on the floor. Exhale, melt the heart forward and down and make your way back into your downward facing dog. Lengthening the arms. Let's move on to the other side. Reach your left leg up towards the sky. Bend the left knee, open up that hip. Inhale to squeeze and lift it up. And as you ex exhale, tap your left knee towards your left shoulder in plank pose. Inhale, reach it back. Exhale to twist, left knee towards your right shoulder. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose, plank pose, look forward, step that foot through, lower the right knee to the mat, right hand stays where it is, left arm reaches up towards the sky as you take your low lunge twist. Let's look down at the floor, left fingertips to the mat, we're going to straighten our left leg and fold over that thigh. Lifting chin and chest up. Bend into your left knee again. Plant the hands. Kick your left heel up towards the sky. Drop the belly. Lift the gaze. Back bend here. Really kick that heel up nice and high. And you're going to tuck the toes under. Walk your palms a couple inches past the shoulders. And lift back into your three-legged dog. Straighten and square the left leg. And keep that left leg off the mat as you come forward to plank pose on the inhale. Exhale, lower all the way down. Point the toes back, cobra as you lift. Exhale to release, press your way back into your downward facing dog. Softening the neck. From this down dog, let's reach our right leg up and then step it through for warrior one. So right foot in between the palms, left foot is at a 45 degree angle or so and you're lifting up with the upper body. Let's reach our arms up overhead. Right knee is bent, left leg is nice and straight. Start to bend into your elbows at a 90 degree angle. You're gonna squeeze your shoulder blades behind you and start to lean back into a back bend. Coming all the way back up. Let's interlace our fingers behind our lower back. Draw your shoulders away from the ears. Open the chest and then dive forward to the inside of your right thigh. Knuckles reaching up and over. Both legs press into the floor. Lift your weight all the way back up. Release the arms so they can re-extend up overhead. And let's bring our hands at our hips. Straighten the right leg and bring your back toes in just a couple inches. So as you inhale, you're finding length. And on the exhale, you're gonna hinge at the waist and fold down. Once you're halfway down, bring your left fingertips down to the floor or to a block. Taking revolve triangle pose, start to pull your right shoulder back and open up the chest and maybe reach your right arm up towards the sky. Looking down towards the mat, bring your right fingertips back where they were. Let's come into our standing split. So bend the right knee, reach the fingertips about six inches in front of that right foot. And you're gonna stand on that right leg as you extend the left leg up and back. Let's strengthen our glutes. So inhale, lift it up. 
And as you exhale, bend both knees and bring them in together to touch into a little ball. So inhale, reach and extend. And then exhale, squeeze it in. Last one, inhale up. Exhale, squeeze it in. Firm up the belly, we're coming all the way up to stand. Pull your left knee in towards your chest once you're there. Working on balance, let's come into tree pose. Bring your left foot to the inside of your right thigh. Press your left knee open, stand up nice and tall. Lower abdominals are hugging in to protect your lower back. Choose to keep your hands at your heart or you can reach your arms up overhead. So strong and stable. Pulling up through the quads to lift through the kneecap, protecting your knee. Let's bring our hands at our heart. We're gonna come into chair pose, big toes together, heels apart, bend the knees, drop the hips down low. As you inhale, reach the arms up overhead. Exhale, fold over the thighs and let it go. Moving through your vinyasa, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the palms, let's just step it back to plank. Take one full breath here. Exhale, chaturanga, lower and hover halfway. Inhale into your upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let's go do that sequence on the other side. Left leg up, inhale. Exhale, warrior one. Left foot forward, right foot down at a 45 degree angle or so. You're bending into your left knee and extending through the arms. Try to pull your right hip forward, left hip back. We're going to bend the elbows, so cactus arms. Squeeze your shoulder blades behind you and take your little back bend as you lift the chest. Inhale to come back up. Interlace your fingers behind your lower back the more unusual way. Free up your chest and then dive to the inside of your left thigh. Extending the arms up and over. Keep pressing firmly into your right heel. Not here for too, too long, so drop the hips as low as you can. Press into both legs. We're gonna come all the way up. Release the arms, reaching them up overhead. And let's bring our hands on our hips. Straighten the left leg and bring your back foot in a couple inches. Scoop your right hip forward, left hip back. Inhale for length. Exhale, hinge forward and hold once you're halfway down. Once you're there, right fingertips go down to the floor or to a block. Keep your left hand on your waist and start to pull your left shoulder back as you open up your chest for a revolved triangle. Left arm can reach up towards the sky if you'd like. Looking down towards the floor, let's bring our fingertips to the mat, bend into your left knee, we're coming into our standing split. So walk the palms forward, stand on the left leg as you reach your right leg up. As you inhale, you're lifting it up a little more, and on the exhale, bend the knees and bring them in together to touch, little bit of a ball. Inhale, open it back up, exhale, squeeze and draw it in, inhale to extend, Last one, exhale, tiny little ball. You're gonna hold it here, firm up the belly, come all the way up to stand and bring your right knee in with you. Tree pose, set your right foot to the inside of your left thigh, pressing your right knee open, drawing the tailbone down. Hands can stay at the heart or you can open up the arms if you'd like. Five breaths here. bit more length, grounding down through all four corners of your left foot. Let's bring our hands at our heart, chair pose, big toes together, heels apart. Bend the knees, drop the hips, re-extend your arms up overhead, inhale. 
exhale, fold over the thighs, release. Take your vinyasa, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, plant the palms, step the feet back. Take one full breath in plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale to up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. So let's take a hip opener from this down dog, coming into pigeon pose. Reach your right leg up and then bring your right knee behind your right wrist. Left leg extends back behind you. So settle into the hip so you're not leaning on one side more than the other. Find length, inhale, and exhale, release and fold it down. Five to 10 breaths here. Start to walk the palms back in. Take your time, we meet back in down dog. And do any little movements once you're there to help free up that hip a little bit. Shaking it out. And we'll move to the other side, left leg up. And then bring your left knee behind your left wrist. Extend your right leg back behind you. And move into the fold. Relax the chest and shoulders. And let's walk it back in. Take your last downward dog of the class. Swaying the hips, pressing the chest towards the thighs. And knees can come down to the floor. Let's finish with an inversion before we close our practice and come into Shavasana. So lower all the way down to your back. Finishing off with our shoulder stand here. So lifting your legs up towards the sky. You just need to lift your hips up and then you can prop your palms behind your lower back so that your lower back has a little bit of support. You're trying to get your ankles, your knees and your hips pretty much in one long line. If this feels like compression or just too much for your neck or you find that you have a hard time breathing in this pose, you can just do um, legs up the wall or you can always just put a block underneath your hips and lift your legs up from here. Letting yourself unwind. Letting the blood flow reverse. You can come into plow pose if you'd like, reaching the toes back behind you. And slowly start to unwind rolling down the length of the spine and making our way into Shavasana. <sighs> so a well-deserved rest after that fast-paced flow. 
fitting everything in into 20 minutes, 20 very short minutes. Draw the shoulders away from the ears. Allow the arms to relax alongside your body. Please stay here for as long as you would like. Thank you so much for doing this class with me. I hope that you will subscribe to my channel. And you might also want to join any of the two challenges that I have going now. So I have a 14 day yin and yang yoga challenge and I also have a 30 day meditation challenge. So information on both of those are down in the description box. Thank you guys so much. Namaste.